today I decided to create a video tutorial how to create a KDP or a book cover using Michael Essany's uh, graphic bundle so we will start by using Photoshop and we will be choosing the size of the book cover we will be creating this time let's just use the 7 by 10 layout open this on Photoshop and yes it's 7 by 10 we will not be creating it here in this particular template we will just create our new tab and we will be choosing inches and it's 7 by 10 inches make sure the resolution is always on 300 okay so this will be the one we will be using children's book and we'll just be getting and finding idea okay so looks like children's books are mostly very plain it doesn't have to be elaborate so I have an idea already like this one just a plain background and colorful fonts so yeah and this one it has a patterns and I like that idea mm. okay so now that I had an I have an idea already we can start creating one uh, we will start by deciding what will be the color of our cover so let's try a green color palette um, kids color tend to be so we will be choosing this one I'm gonna copy it and paste it in my Photoshop just copy and control V for paste okay so always make sure that the background is the darkest color so I will be creating a new layer and press I for the what do you call this eyedropper tool and I will be choosing this one and G G is for the paint bucket yeah so we spill it over here this is the layer I created or the background <clears throat> now um, we will need we will be needing something to make our front cover uh, by the way the, this one that I am creating is a supposed to be the front the front cover of the back of the book so we, we need something to make this pop a little bit okay I have an idea this is one of my favorite we will be creating a sun ray sun rays and we just need to have the center of this um, layer you can do it by pressing V and just hover your uh, cursor over this rulers on the side and drag it in the middle grab one on the top there you go so we knew exactly what is the center of our layer and now grab your pen tool it's sh the shortcut is letter P on your keyboard and it's a pen tool yes it should be on shape make sure it, it is on shape I will just 
start doing a triangle I I did this purposely uh, I extended the image uh, across the layer and then fill color to a darker darker green we can change it, change this later so as of the moment let's just use color yellow to let us see the the shape easier okay so we created the first ray by using the pen tool click it and press the V on your keyboard to get a, a hold of it so you can see we are now holding it in this this particular layer so if you can see this uh, like a cursor or a target icon this this tells uh, which is the center of our layer so we will just grab it oh, where it go there we will just grab it and place it over here so you can see it clearly but it is now over this area and this one is called rotate so we will set a rotation to uh, like 20 as you can see it move now we can see where where, we, where our second ray will be placed so 20 looks good for me and just click ok or confirm now basically uh, we just move the original ray 20 degrees uh, like rotated it 20 degrees a little bit and now we will duplicate what we have just done so on your keyboard press control alt shift make sure you are holding it uh, it doesn't matter if you press it all at the same time but make sure your fingers your three fingers is holding it and then now press letter T there you go and another one as long as we already created the full circle of our sun rays you should stop here there you go okay so let's start here and shift and all over the top then press ctrl E it is the shortcut for merge all the layers so now all the layers are merged now let's turn on our color palette layer again to decide with which will be the color of our sun rays uh, click this layer of the, uh, the sun rays and choose color overlay okay so we will be choosing the color for this background style and I think I will be using this one this one is too bright for a background um, this is just a supporting element so it doesn't need to be too uh, outstanding because it will contrast our main image okay I will be using this one and I will hide the color palette now and let's go and proceed to the graphic bundle let's say using this bunch of vectors you can create um, different kinds of covers like a book cover uh, focusing on ants or worm snail etc just be creative and be resourceful so as of the moment I will I think I will be using the bee like we are creating a book cover for a bee book bee book <laughs> okay so use this image and now I'll just place it here and this is too big so we will just uh, make it smaller 
make sure you are holding shift so you will not distort the image like if you are sizing or resizing it without holding the shift on different kind of uh, Photoshop has a different kind of controls using the shift so in my the Photoshop that I am using shift retains the size of, of an image when it is being uh, resized okay so I think the title will go over here and let's just use kiddie fonts or am I getting, getting my fonts usually I create my own fonts when when I have uh, an order for my clients I just create a font um, tailored to that particular order but I will be using 1001 fonts for now this website offers a commercial license fonts okay here, here's how you use it did you see this icon the green uh, price tag icon means it's free for commercial use stay away from you can use this filter to show the free commercial use okay this one when it is colored pink it is for personal use only you need to to pay or or contact the author of this font before using it commercially but if you see that the icon is green and you are free to use it so i will be using a cute type of font and we will filter it with a free commercial use now we're just browsing some cute fonts oh sorry the uh, we will be searching it here that's why i can't find it this is a sample text for your font so search cute over here there you go uh, this is the place where you can see your preview of your book title. This is a preview of your uh, text so you can visualize what will it look like. And this is where you will find or search the categories of, of the font you are looking for. So I think I will be using this one. This is very cute. And double check. Yes, it is free for commercial use. So we'll download it. And thanks to the author Brenda Gallio for this one. And open this one. Yeah, let's install it. I will try and install the bold one. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, so font name is Gorditas Bold. So we'll be using it. Gorditas and for now i will be using just white color for it and enlarge it and put it in the center okay and another layer i will just duplicate it by using uh, by pressing ctrl j of the smaller one this is another uh, typography technique the t-shirt fella has been using your text should be played on different sizes so it will look good in the eyes not just a plain block of uh, same text size that looks boring Okay, so that looks good. Actually, that looks good already. Let's see if we can add a, a stroke on it. A black stroke. Okay, so it's you know, it, it can be found on layer style and stroke. Okay, so make sure it is placed 
outside your your image and play with the size of the stroke and I think 17 looks good already okay so we will be uh, duplicating the layer style with we've used in the book and apply it on the type on the word title and of the you can do it easily by just uh, hovering your cursor in this effects uh, icon and just drag it down on your <laughs> oh I moved it sorry and let's undo it just right click here and copy layer style once you copy it you can just paste it over here just right click again and paste layer style there you go and we will do the same over here there uh, it looks uh, good now I think and of course we will be adding another layer here and this is the author for example okay so add the same layer style here I think if it's overdone you can just hide the effects if you don't like it you can really tell by just looking yeah I think this is much better it's more, more simpler and I'm happy with this this will be our front page front cover and we will proceed to create our back cover now or you can we can just easily create a new one inches 7 by 10 and make sure it's 300 and we will be using the same color palette so let's drag it here in our back cover okay so I use this color as our background create a new layer for you to fill and there you go um, let's look for another idea on what it look, uh, what a book looks like at the back basically it's just simple it's more simple than the front cover so I think we will be just using the same image of course uh, yeah we will be using the B okay so I, let me teach you about a pattern I've seen a pattern earlier and it looks good so I think we will be using it but for now let's just create a simple one let's just make, let's just make this uh, B image bigger and type type tool select the type tool right, title of the book color white we're still using the same font and make sure it is in center so let's let's uh, let's show the guide again this really helps in in showing where where's the center of our canvas so title of the book in another type tool or in we can put some other stuff blah 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 yeah I'm just hitting the keyboard okay so basically this looks good already it's simple and we are done with this one but another thing that we've seen earlier is the pattern and I can teach you a simple way to do it okay so we will just duplicate this B layer 
and drag it down here it doesn't matter which one you use but since this is the copy I will be using this and I will just decrease the size of this one so this will be our pattern I will start creating a pattern by just manually uh, placing it in position the shortcut key for duplicate is Control J I'm using Windows so this is the center another one and around here it doesn't matter you don't, it doesn't have to be proportionally or geometrically correct as long as you are seeing it with your eyes and you can decide whether it is uh, balanced so now we created three bees here select the three bees by using shift and click over these layers and again the shortcut key for merging is Control e now we will duplicate it again over here and another one now we are creating a pattern okay so I will be grabbing everything and I, I will be just eyeballing this and then control E to merge, merge them now as they are only a part of a background they should be not as, as visible as our main image so click this layer and play with the opacity decrease it so it will just blend at the back there you go it's cute and as you can see the part where text is placed it kind of uh, confusing because of this image we can just delete it always just remember always the text is the most important part of the design so you need to sacrifice everything whether it is a background or an or a vector image sacrifice everything so your text will be visible and now it looks good and very readable we can still add something to the text to make it more visible okay this is the easier way I will just group them uh, in a new in a folder now they are oh sorry group them in a folder this is the text group and I will add a layer style stroke this time I will be using the background color our background color yeah so this kills a little bit of the pattern that we created so it won't overlap with our text there you go and it's very readable and you can you can really tell that the background is covered but I think I overdone it so I will just mean uh, decrease it a little bit and yeah that's it so this will be our back cover very simple and now it's time to place them on our template okay let's go back on our front layer uh, front cover and merge everything merge everything uh, and leave the background layer because it's locked you can't use it you can not drag it so just again click everything and press shift up to the very end Control e to merge it now we have our layer our front cover oh, okay so since we created the sun rays uh, 
and exceeded its size outside our canvas we can drag it because it will be showing the excess uh, part of it we'll be, we will just use this tool marquee tool and drag everything at the border and just duplicate this one hide this one we won't be using it place it over here and make sure the bounding box is covered we will we will go back to it later we will grab our back cover group everything merge everything and we also have the excess image at the bottom and on the top so we will do the same by choosing marquee tool I'm just uh, dragging it at the edge of everything and control J so this one is the proper size we will be using it and there you go now for the size of it make sure it hits the dotted line it is more safe if you will use it uh, uh, I mean resize it extended it doesn't matter if if it goes uh, beyond your canvas it's more safe than than actually hitting the edge of the template because you may leave some small pixels by doing so and the front cover goes here make sure you are holding shift for the proper size there you go and I think that's it we have created a KDP cover using Michael Essany's graphic bundle make sure you save it as PDF and save as PDF Where is it? There you go. PDF and rename it. Blah 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 blah. <laughs> okay, so that's it. Thank you so much.